What is going on YouTube family? We are back with off-season episode two, Reverse Diet. So this is an episode I'm very excited to make because I think it could be very educational for all types of people. We're gonna be talking about reverse diet, my reverse diet, uh, recovery diet is what another people like to call it. And I think this is really important because it can be applicable to not only someone like me who just came off of a, a contest diet, but it could be relevant just for anybody that's just coming off any type of dieting phase. So a lot of times, the first thing we need to think about is what part of uh, our diet phase are we at? We come off of a, a post-show bodybuilding diet where we're at extreme low body fats or where we're dieting down for a vacation, for a photo shoot, for an event like a wedding, a birthday, just something where you wanted to get your body more in check just to feel better and look better because you know you're gonna be taking a lot of pictures and things of, of that sort. So let's dive right into it. All right, we're rocking the new Iron Willed uh, hat and then the new Iron Willed Mamba tank. These clothes are so nice. I really love the Iron Willed clothing company. I really hope uh, that we continue to progress and uh, maybe get a sponsorship. And I, I, I would I would be so thankful for that because I feel like my aspirations and goals as a bodybuilder and just an overall natural bodybuilder and, and content creator really lines up with, with their motto, which is by any means necessary. And that's 100% what I strive to do. By any means necessary, I'm gonna do what I can to be the best that I can. First thing I think we need to look at is someone's mental state at the point after their diet of where they're at. So a lot of the times we are dieting down so much, we're at this low body fat, we're restricting calories, we feel like we want food, we're craving food. So we need to think about our, our mental state. So I am somebody, I'll be 100% transparent, that has definitely struggled with a post-show diet before where I have gained the dreaded 25, 30 pounds in like four to five days. And let me start by saying that is that's not optimal because your body is a sponge at this point. And what happens is you get down to um, a lower metabolic rate as your calories decrease and your hormones are also, also decreasing as your body fat is going down. And this is what's called metabolic adaptation. When you do start to increase calories, if your metabolic uh, rate is decreased as well. So if you start to add calories really quickly back in, your body and your metabolism is not gonna be able to compensate for that and you're gonna put on body fat, not just weight, you're gonna put, your body is gonna store those extra calories and weight as body fat, which is what none of us wanna do because we're gonna go from our physique or look that we were most proud of to what potentially be our worst physique in a, such a short period of time. When our body fat is at a super low level like this, we're not at an optimal time to train, especially in the gym if we're trying to put on muscle. In my instance, we're very susceptible to injury. So our bodies are depleted, there we're low energy. So if we're trying to push weight and whatnot, we're continuing to restrict calories, we're gonna put ourselves more at risk for injury. So with that being said, my coach and uh, my plan moving forward is I'm someone that is 100% about structure. So with me having struggles in the past with a post diet, uh, phase and um, just like post post show struggles, especially with, with binge eating, I'm someone that needs the structure. So for me, I am having a 100% structured plan from my coach and that's what I'm going to go over with you guys here. So this is, uh, today is Wednesday, so this is three days post show. I ate what I wanted on Saturday night after the show. And then Sunday I had a nice breakfast, ate structured during the day, and then Sunday night when I came home, I did indulge in some sweets and whatnot, just because I felt like I needed to. And that was almost good for me to do that um, and eat those foods off track because what it did for me is, is it really messed with my digestion the next day. So on Monday when I woke up, my stomach felt distended, I felt bloated, I felt watery. And for the next two days, my, my abdomen was just kind of in pain, almost from it being stretched out from having that extra food and just going through that actual extra stress. So for me, that was a really good uh, tool that I used was to eat whatever I wanted to on that Saturday and Sunday. We're not talking about going crazy here, but what I did do was I ate some foods that I was craving. Uh, I had some sushi, I had some cookies, and I, I had some candy and sweets. So I got that out of my system, I got what I wanted to, and the one big thing that it did, it was like I just said, it really messed up my digestion, and it made me realize that eating foods that are more clean, 
and on plan are more what I enjoy because it makes me feel better mentally, physically, and just every day. So even transitioning after the show, eating on plan is very important to me because it, I'm feeling better. I feel great today. Yeah, I do feel hungry at times, but that's gonna be normal. My hunger hormone levels are gonna be really through the roof and telling my body that I, I need food. And that's where this next phase of what I'm gonna talk about is very important. So with following a reverse diet, it, I think it's important to be on a plan because what your body feels that it needs and your mental state from being at this very low ca caloric intake for such a long period of time, they're, they're not gonna be in line with each other. They're gonna be at different levels. I'm sure anyone has felt this before where you sit down and you eat and you feel full, but your mind is telling you that you're still hungry. So you continue to eat and then in return, you feel worse. You feel like you keep needing food because your brain is telling you, you want food, you want food because you've been restricting for so long. You keep eating intuitively, you're gonna be eating in an extreme surplus and that's what's gonna make your body susceptible to putting on this excess body fat, which you're trying to avoid. So what my plan going forward with my coaches, we wanna go in a very small surplus and slowly gradually increase things up. But one thing that's very hard for your body to do is store protein as fat as body fat so keeping your protein levels high is going to be very important because one a protein makes you to feel, feel the most satiated so you're going to feel full and two it's going to be hard for your body to store that protein as fat so keeping your protein intake high is very important post show and that's exactly what we're doing so my meal plan is going to stay very structured so I'll, I'll put it up for you guys right here so this is what i'm following up until thursday which is when i'm going to check in with my coach again but one thing that's very important in a reverse diet or a recovery diet is peri-workout nutrition so what's peri-workout nutrition peri-workout nutrition is putting those excess calories around your workouts so i'm going to be eating as you can see in the meal plan a lot of extra carbs before my workout and then after my workout. And the reason that we're gonna do that is because my body isn't gonna be used to those extra calories, but by putting them around the workout, I'm gonna go exert energy and my body's gonna use those extra calories in the form of carbs to fuel my workouts and I'm gonna burn them off and they're gonna be put to good use. So what that's gonna help me do is build muscle back and my strength back slowly. So we're gonna put these extra calories to use in a muscle building aspect around my training and that's what's gonna benefit me. One thing I wanna talk about that's, that's very important to me and the reason I can stay on plan so much is because I'm, very, I'm a very motivated person. So getting second place in this second consecutive show was is very demoralizing to me and I'm very motivated to know that following this structured reverse diet is gonna be very optimal for me for improving in the future. I wanna win. When it comes down to it, I'm very passionate about bodybuilding. I'm passionate about what I believe that I can achieve. My coach and I still believe that I can be one of the, the best natural bodybuilders in natural bodybuilding competitions. So that's what I'm striving to achieve. Um, I'm looking at this off season as a, as a way for me to never get second place again. And that's never what I want to happen. I never want to get second place. I always want to improve. I always want to be the best version of myself that I can be. So it all starts, it all started on Monday. So from Monday here on out, I'm treating every single day. Very important. Um, ever since Monday, I'm treating this off season as an opportunity to get better, to improve and to never leave any stone unturned. So me following this structured plan, I see it as a purpose. This off season for me is just a continuation of my competition and just my overall development of my body. I've only been bodybuilding for three years total and two years ago is when I did do my first competition and I didn't follow a reverse diet. And I went from what at that time was the best physique in my life to the worst physique in my life in a matter of a week because I couldn't control my eating, I couldn't control my food intake, no matter what I did. And by eating foods that I would want and crave at that moment, so say I would go eat pancakes, I would make pancakes and uh, have a protein shake or something in the morning, and I would feel really full, but like that was those foods that I was craving, so I would want more of them. And after I would eat and get what I wanted to, my mind, like I was talking about before, my mind would still tell me that I was hungry even though my body felt full because my body wasn't used to those calories. But my mind was still telling me I was hungry because I haven't had those had those foods in such a long time that I would go back and continue to eat more. I would eat spoonfuls of peanut butter. I would put peanut butter all over the pancakes I was eating. It was nice for the mental aspect, but it really messed with my digestion. 
it really messed with my body composition and in return it really messed with my mental state because um i was looking my my worst that i that i ever had so it was difficult for me to train and in return your body at this at this moment after an extreme dieting phase if your goal is to put on muscle which a lot of people's is even in any aspect because muscle is what's going to help you look better and feel better so we want to optimize myself put packing on as much muscle as i can and gaining that size back in a structure and uh in a, a smartly planned manner what we're going to do is we're going to increase those carbs around my meals um, i'm going to check in with my coach on thursday and we're going to probably see how my body composition is looking how my weight is looking i'll give you guys a, uh, a weight update tomorrow with my check-in and we'll see how many pounds up i was from the stage so i was 175 pounds give or take the morning of the show so that's going to fluctuate as we're eating food but the morning of the show when i woke up fasted i was 175 i think 0.4 pounds so i'll let you guys know what the the uh four it'll be five days the five days post show weight is and then i'll let you know what my coach makes uh in terms of adjustments and plans so we're going to continue to build up food as we go we're going to do it in a slow controlled manner because we want my body and my metabolism to adapt to the extra food as opposed to giving me all this extra food all at once because it's going to store all those extra calories as fat which is what we don't want to do all right good morning guys Today is Thursday, first day. I'm checking in with my coach. So let's see a little physique update and then I'll show you my weight. Now let's check out my weight. This is with the camera, so I checked it before. That was my weight with the camera. I checked it uh, before without the camera and I was 183.0. So we, I was about like 175 to 176 on stage. So we're about seven pounds up from stage weight. Um, I think that's a little bit high, but not too bad. I'll see what my coach says. I've been 100% on plan uh, other than the Saturday the day of the show and the Sunday after the show. I was a little bit off plan. I, I don't think that's bad. I don't think I look too bad. But um, obviously I'm not as shredded as I was uh, on show day, which is definitely hard to uh, deal with mentally. But yeah, that's the check-in. That's the first check-in for um, the off season going off of that reverse diet that I showed you guys. So this is just the first episode of uh, the reverse diet phase. I kind of want to give you guys a little bit of an update as to what I'm, I'm doing with my reverse diets uh, one week after the show. And there's gonna be a lot of updates coming forward. I hope every week, this because this is gonna be a series that I wanna do of my reverse diet and just overall my off-season diet. So this is my off-season, but it's also my reverse uh, slash recovery diet. But I just wanted to give you guys an update as to what the plan is. And I hope you guys stick along because I plan on this being very informative and I wanna show people, I wanna be the epitome of what you can achieve if you follow everything to a structured T. So I wanna show you guys what is possible if you follow a structured plan 100% after a show and uh, we'll see how much size and progress I can make optimally by listening to my coach. I just wanna say thank you guys for watching. I hope you are as excited about this series and this off season series as I am. Like, comment, subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next video.